Hey friends, here I have a quick one for you. So let me show you how you can easily create a responsive CSS grid. So here I just have a hundred div elements, which is really nothing impressive, right? And then you might be tempted using CSS grid to do something like this. You might be tempted to say media, and we can even use this fancy new syntax for media queries. You can say width is higher than or equal to 400 pixels, let's say for example, and then you're saying grid template columns, and then you can say something like repeat. Okay, so at this point, I want two columns, which are going to be one fractional unit. And then like, okay, this looks good to me. And then maybe you're like, okay, now I need to copy this over. Maybe at media 800, I want four columns, right? And this is kind of tedious and annoying to do, right? So we get four columns, right? And this is great, but you can actually do this using one line of CSS. So let me actually show you how you can do this. So here we define grid. We can again say grid template columns. And now here I can say repeat and we can use a couple of algorithms, but one of them is going to be auto fill and auto fit. So this is going to be the repeat count. So we can go into say instead of a number, we're going to say auto fill. So we're going to fill the amount of items necessary. And then we can also specify a CSS function min max. So minimal, we can say, okay, 200 pixels and maximum value is going to be one fraction. And then when we save this again, just one line of CSS, we can get these beautiful grid columns. How beautiful is this friends? But let me actually show you the difference between autofill and autofit. And instead of talking about it, you're going to understand it immediately once you see the example. So here I'm going to go to this other example, fill versus fit. And here in this route, I just have, again, these two different examples, autofill and autofit. One has a fill grid, other is a fit grid, right? So each of them has four items. You can see nothing looks different yet. And here in these styles, there is literally nothing special, just these two classes, fill and fit, which apply autofill and autofit. All right, so what is the difference? Even if you play around with something like this, we're actually not going to see the difference immediately, right? All right, so you might be asking yourself, what is the difference, right? And let me actually show you, it's going to be really obvious if I lessen the numbers of items. So we can say length two, so we get two items instead, and you're going to notice the difference pretty quickly. So let me just do this. And you can see autofill, unlike autofit, just takes the space required for the amount of items it has. It doesn't stretch them, but autofit, on the other hand, stretches these items. So for example, here we can stretch them as further as possible. You can see autofit is going to stretch your items. That's basically it. You don't need any fancy definitions. Once you see the example, it's immediately clear where autofill is useful and where autofit is useful. So if you don't want to stretch your items, use autofill. But if you want your items to be stretched, just use autofit. And that's basically it. All right, friends. So if you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also support me by becoming a patron. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one. Peace.